today I like to point out common standalone fractals that will give you a term on different markets. Now we're looking at the micro grid here. We're trading the micro. Okay. A common fractal does not appear. You can always go to another market, another time frame. Okay. Now here, uh, currently on the weekly time frame, we're looking at the uh, micro for the Russell. Uh, look what we have here. The typical seven up. Okay. Now there are so many markets there, and I can't cover them all. But uh, we're a little bit too late on the downtrend here. We'll have to wait for the fractal band to break here. Okay, that's C draw so. Uh, most of the markets are uh, clopping out here. And what I want to uh, look at, some of the more common ones that you can take advantage of. Um, particularly, oh, uh, gold. Okay, now, if you can't find uh, a common fractal in one time frame, you can go to another time frame. Okay. Um, that's the gold there. We have a uh, decaying fractal. But we're going to take a look at the um, Take a look at the Dow. Okay, that that's a classic uh, decaying top there, or Dow, right here. So what what you can do during a tr uh, trading day? Look for these particular fractals. Okay, now that's the top here. Right, we know that. Okay, and the bottom of the channel the fractal broke. That's pretty bearish. Okay. Um, if you go to the uh, yearly, well, actually, that's daily. If you go to the weekly, um, not too clear. So you uh, would want to stay with the daily. Okay. So it's a little too late. Um, entry point would be here. All right. Uh, Let's move to oh metals. Boy oh boy. You're going right up. Let's see if I can find it here. Um uh, silver. What's silver there? Boy, talk about the top right there. On a daily time frame. Um that would be Good entry point there. You put your stop, and I believe we're going to call down here. Okay, that's on silver. Um, do 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 do. Oh, let's take a look at these uh, note futures too. Okay, again on a daily time frame. The top curve right here. We have a typical. Decaying fractal. Boom. You see it? Again, that was the top. And then that was the bottom. Broken here. Attempted rally. And it's going back down again. Okay, that's the uh, notes. Again, during uh, trading day, if you can't find anything, uh, move to another market. And you'll find something. Okay, uh, take a look at wheat here. Uh, on the daily, we don't have anything. Uh, but how about the weekly? Whoa, there we go. What do you think? All right, now, you got the top here. All right. And you got the bottom here. How do you trade it? Well, uh, you can put a stop here and do a trade going down. But, however, it would probably be more wise to, until we break the band here, then you can do a trade on wheat. Um, 
gold, uh, I believe, is topping out. As soon as I can find the uh, chart here. Okay. Uh, oh, here's the gold. Okay, that's on a weekly. Now, if you go to the daily, okay, that's a top there. Uh, let's go to this is the micro again for the Dow. Yeah, the Dow did to, uh, definitely top out here. Looking at uh, gold, at the micro. At the top there. Uh, let's see here. The gold futures at the top there. Oh, how about the end? Uh, what we got here? All right, now here's another example. We've seen this so many times before. Okay, that's a decaying fractal. And what you need to do, you need to wait until they appear. And you have a nice trade here. Okay, that's the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the top, okay. Then another, another fractal occurred, okay. Right here, another seven down. It did turn. All right. However, broke the bottom here, meaning a reversal down. That's how you trade the fractals. Um, let's take a look at the. Oh, the yields. Uh, we won't know about that. I mean. I have a target of over 5%. Uh, I think the market's toast pretty much right now. Um, I had a few others. Uh, Bitcoin makes <laughs> completely chaotic. I mean, you can't even, I wouldn't even want to touch it. Um, let's see here. Where's the micro uh, gold? Again, uh, you can do what I'm doing all day long. If you're a little bored and you can't find a trade, you can always go to another market. Mm, uh, take a look at solid green. Mm, nothing really there. Yearly. Do, 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 do. I don't have the yearly there. Okay, let's go to another one here. Looking for oh, here's a top to silver. Now, okay, silver uh, is topping on here. Okay. It may go a little bit further. Now we're on a weekly time frame here. So it took um, took about two three months. You can expect two three months down. Okay, we'll do that. Then when we break the bottom here, even more down. Okay, uh, silver. 
typical decaying fractal. How many times have we seen this? Okay, you're looking at the form and the markets will turn on a fractal. Okay, good example there. Uh, I had a really good example of gold here. If I can get the, the right chart. Again, um, this is what I do all day long, to look at all the different markets and try to find the clearest of the fractal. And right now, uh, on long term, okay, uh, the Dow topped, the Russell topped, silver is topping or has topped, the yen we have gold, we have wheat, we have the T notes. So we have a lot of opportunities here to find a trade. And if you go through the yen, where's the yen at? Oh, there's the yen. Okay, I did point that out. Okay, that's your top there, right? Okay, you're looking at long-term trends now. We're looking at the weekly and the daily. When you detect the pattern right here on a 10-minute time frame, one-hour time frame, you can execute the trade. Okay, you have the top there, you have the bottom there. Okay, take a look at the something else here. I'm giving you examples. Uh, how about the euro? Do we have anything in here on the euro? Not really. That's weekly. Go to the daily. Uh, don't have anything there. Now, if we drill down to the uh, four-hour time frame and two-hour time frame, uh, we would probably uh, find a fractal. Okay. So you have to go from time frame to time frame. I don't know, let's see, a couple. So again, on the metals, I think they're going to top. Why? I have no idea. But the fractals are indicating uh, a turn, uh, a facto. Uh, crude. Oh, let's see here. What happened with crude? Oh, okay. Why did crude begin to rise? Right here. When you see this pattern, that's the bottom. Okay. So. And that's the top. We broke out. I believe we can go a lot higher. All right. That's on crude. Um, cotton. So, no chart there. Uh, how about some hogs? Do, 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 do. Oh, okay. We're going to have, well, too late to get on this one here. Uh, that was a uh, nested top. However, it did reverse up. All right. How far? You'll have to go to the uh, smaller time frames to find another fractal going up. Here. Okay. Um, this one here. That was the original top, right there. Okay, so you have a top here, you have a top here, 
can you have a bottom pair? Okay. Um, let's see what else. Heating. Did we did we cover heating oil? Um, okay, that's the weekly. Again, you go through the time frames. Daily. Do we have anything on the daily here? Uh, two top. Oh, well, there it is there. That's your standalone fractal. And, well, it goes back in uh, January. That's your growth fractal right here. Okay. And did we break out? Okay. I think we can go higher. Again, you have to go to the uh, smaller time frames to find an entry point, but <laughs> ideally it would have been here in January. Okay, you have a seven down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'm showing you how to uh, discover the fractals here. Um, how about the pound here? Do we have anything on the pound? Uh, I have to go to the weekly. Do let's see here. Oh, there it is. Okay. On the weekly, we have a vested growth fractal right here. Okay. You have a little dip, then you have a leg, and then you have a leg. Um, when it began to rally, you would go long and the bottom would be here right you put your stop there and the top is here that's a pound okay again you'll find the form here on the dow on the svx on the NASDAQ, gold, silver, etc., et on every time frame, every market. And I'm illustrating uh, quickly how you can find these. Oh, here's the micro. Okay, that's weekly. We go to the daily. Okay, um, that's a standalone, my decaying fractal. So the metals uh, are poised for a turn. Uh, what about gas? That's on a daily. Do we have anything? Maybe on a weekly? Uh, not really. However, if you go to the other uh, time frames, uh, you'll probably find something. I'm just going through charts here. Oh, palladium. Uh, how about platinum? Okay, uh, that's the weekly. It's a little bit more difficult. We don't know. Too chaotic. Move to another market. Here is silver again. Uh, very classic. One, two, three, four, five. That's a decaying fractal right here. Okay. Again, uh, you put a stop there. And the target would be here. And when we hit the target there, right around here, well, it's going to be all the way out here, all right? But right now, uh, it's going down. Oh, uh, let's see here. What else do we have? Sugar, probably nothing on sugar. No, it won't offer the chart. Soybeans. Uh, I think 
How about corn? Do they have anything on corn? Uh, corn's a little tough. You ignore it. Um, let's see here. Third year bond. Uh, bonds are going down. And yeah, let's see what happens. Uh, here would be an example of a semi-quasi top. Okay. Ideally, one, two, three, four, five, top. And that went down there. Wait. That went down there. And then it'll go down here. In the meantime, you have to look at the other time frames to find a fractal. Um, you do anything on Oaks? Uh, that's a weekly. That's going to be a little tough. Can't find anything here. Okay. Well, the point uh, I want to make today, uh, again, during the day, uh, you can you can find a trade somewhere at eight o'clock in the morning, uh, maybe at noon, uh, maybe at two o'clock, maybe at three o'clock. Okay, you always have a opportunity. So right now, uh, I think the equity uh, markets uh, are pretty bearish, and the odd thing I I'm looking at uh, the metals, uh, I think they're going to be topping. Uh, if they remain at the current level, okay, uh, if the metals join in on the trade down, uh, things are going to be pretty bad. But we'll have to wait and see. But in the meantime, yeah, the uh, equity markets, uh, markets uh, have topped out. Uh, and I think I pointed... Uh, this out to you before on the uh, oh boy okay why can I get that now looking at the uh, oh well we can do it here okay let's look at the uh, the micro on weekly And then on the, oh, here it is, on the monthly, that's your typical slider, okay, so uh, by using the uh, fractals you find on the uh, one minute time frame or five minute time frame, you can apply them to the larger time frames. Again, again, how many times have we seen slider in action? Okay. Happens every day, every market, and it'll give you a roadmap of what the market will do. Uh, in general, uh, we can speak something like this here. Now, again, it won't go in a straight line, uh, but generally, when we have a slider, uh, it's going to break a little lower. All right, so um, the rest of the year looks pretty bad. That's what's going to happen. Again, you'll have your rallies here. Uh, they're going to be sharp, but uh, the 5,300 Quotes here. We're going to continue to go down. Well, probably until October. So uh, you heard it here first. Okay, we have a major uh, correction for 2024. Um, but again, there's opportunities in all the different markets. Uh, some are bullish, some are bearish, some are growing, some are decaying. So you can take your pick. Hank Wernicke, signing off.